Hey guys, Vizera Productions here, and today I'm going to be giving my thoughts on WWDC 17. So, this is the first presentation, and overall, I would say that my opinion on this was pretty positive, but yeah, I'm just gonna get straight into this. But if you have not seen their presentation for yourself, I do recommend you go check it out. So, if if you did watch it, then you'll probably remember that the intro was very interesting. It had like the thing, what what would we do if Apple were to shut down and we lost all their apps and products? I mean, I think they were over exaggerating with how cars would crash and it would be an apocalypse. But I guess that was kind of their point to kind of over exaggerate to kind of script. I just threw a Nintendo Switch controller uh, across the room. So, yeah, interesting intro, and I did like the part where he showed off the developers, they, sh they talked about how, um, like, they had a, like, 10-year-old developer who made, like, three or five apps, but I'm gonna get straight into the actual products, that's the number one thing that I have to cover. So, basically, the first thing I need to talk about is a TV OS, so Apple TV. The only thing they really revealed was Amazon Prime is coming to it, and that is, that, that's really it. I don't really care too much about Prime, I use my Apple TV a lot though. We actually, uh, use our Apple TV to, I use my Apple TV to watch the presentation, so that was nice, but that's all they really showed off for tvOS. They might reveal more tomorrow, but yeah, that's just it for that. For the Apple Watch, oh, they revealed Apple Watch OS 4. They have a new intelligent Siri, and there's going to be new characters on the watch that, like, Buzz and Woody will be on the watch and stuff like that. Kind of interesting. I don't, I don't have an Apple Watch, so I can't really relate to this, so it was just kind of boring for me. There is a new monthly challenges with Activity app, which is apparently the number one Apple Watch app. That is, that is built in, which makes sense. There is also going to be Apple Watch gym equipment. So gym equipment is going to be uh, compatible with the Apple Watch. So I think that's going to be interesting, but again, can't relate because I don't have an Apple Watch. You know, I just thought they were way too expensive. And music for Apple Watch, which that's great for that. I don't really care too much about it because I don't have an Apple Watch, but I can relate to the people who do. Next, we have Mac OS High Sierra, and it, they they bragged a lot about High Sierra on this, but they said that Safari was the best browser ever created with High Sierra. It also will have auto pause on pages like articles where they like where they like open a video and you don't want to play the video. That I, that's you know slightly annoying to me. But I see what they're trying to do. They're trying to sell you on their new on MacBooks. But let me talk more about the Mac OS. So they were talking about how the High Sierra is going to change privacy with all that, um, and along with the intelligent tracking prevention. So if you buy a product, it won't like follow you around and like. So let's say if you buy a computer, it won't say like the exact same computer on all your ads, which I guess is nice. But, yeah. For email, you can do some stuff with that I'm not too interested in. Photos, again, not too interested in. There are some favorites and third parties stuff in photos and video and stuff like that. But what I really want to talk about was the fact that they're going to now have 4K video graphics in HBVC, Metal 2, and a bunch of brand new, um, a br like this brand new little, what are they called? like graphics card boosters i think that's a terrible that i don't that's not at all what they're called but there's one that comes with an amd radeon rx 580 which is interesting there's metal 2 with metal for vr steam vr is finally coming unity and unreal are also aboard this and then they talk about these brand new 500 nits radeon pro on their new macbook stuff and like that but what I really wanted to talk about was two things. First thing is that they really are trying to sell on how good like VR is on Mac devices, which is I think is important. But the most interesting thing about this entire conference for me was their brand new iMac they're coming out called the iMac Pro. And 
I looked at it, it looks amazing. Like, if you actually see a thing, it looks like a monster. And it, it does have a monster inside it. The specs on this thing are gorgeous. And the best part, I think, is the fact that it's $2,000 cheaper than to go out and build a PC. And even Apple said that, yes, our new product is only $5,000, which is still a lot of money. But if you want to go build that computer for yourself with like Windows, $7,000 and you won't get all like the Mac stuff, like we have like 5K and all that, you won't have all that. So that's why that's something good that I feel like they should have empathized and I'm glad they did. But next, af after that, well, after they talked all about how it's going to have 128 of gigabytes rem memory. What's a memory? Memory is going to have four terabytes SSDs, built-in tethered ethernet, 44 million pixels. I said that wrong. And it'll be $5,000 and it's available December. iOS 11, it's 86% versus Android 7, which I mean, they're just trying to sell how good um, iOS 10 is. But iOS 11, they talk about how, they brag a whole lot about it. I do have to mention that as well. They talk about Siri has a new voice, there's new photo languages, there's a control center, lock screen, key photos, and so much more stuff I could go into. It would be like 20 minutes just to talk about this. And that would be just talking about the smaller stuff. Even counting, oh, there's also, they, they're going to completely remodel the app store, which is kind of interesting. But the last thing that I want to talk about is the iPad. So the iPad Pro, and they're going to have a brand new one. It looks, it looks like a normal iPad to me. I'm probably not going to buy because I already have an iPad Pro, but yeah, that's really all I t think I care about about the iPad Pro. It's going to have stuff like ProMotion and A10X, but not really anything else. And then they talk about these new, this new speaker that will be coming, and I was not interested at all. That, that was probably the most boring thing for me. I'm, I'm not, I do not care about that. Other people might, and that's perfectly fine, but I just didn't find it interesting. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Tomorrow, I'll be making another video about this. I do have a cold, so my voice does sound different, but yeah. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this video, and see you.